We are here at the March for Our Lives in Washington, D.C. This is Millie Weaver reporting for InfoWars.com. Oh, it looks like someone just put up their sign on purpose. That's nice. Let's just read off some of these signs that I'm seeing out here. Uh, BS GOP, BS NRA, the Russians gave you 30 million, they gave our nation this. Um, marching so teachers like my dad can focus on teaching science, not preventing violence. Well, even though the fact that there was armed security at a Maryland high school, you know, which stopped a mass shooting from happening, you know, we don't want to hear the mainstream media. Um, I mean, they don't want to talk about that issue right there. Um, let's see this one. My student's right to survive a day at school outweighs your right to own any gun you want. It just does. Um, what part of shall not be infringed do people not understand in the purpose of the Second Amendment? The purpose, the fact that guns in schools with teachers could actually prevent more harm, could keep kids safer. Sorry, but I don't want to die during fourth period. So it looks like there's a lot of fear mongering out here. Excuse me. She's right here. Why, why do you want to ban guns? Because I don't want to die. Don't put me on your shit. Well, you're the one making comments, ma'am. Go away. You don't believe in the First Amendment. Yeah, you don't believe in the First Amendment, the freedom of the press out here either? That's why we're all here. Okay. I may not live to see our glory, but I will gladly join the fight. Ma'am, why should we do away with guns? No, no, don't no, engage, no, don't engage, engage. don't engage, don't engage. Don't engage. Don't engage. So, they all believe in the First Amendment. Yeah. I want to... Why do you think we shouldn't have guns? Why do you think we shouldn't have guns? Um, no comment. Do you think that the Second Amendment was there for a reason? Yeah, it's changed a little bit over a couple hundred years, so we might want to make some changes. Because societal society's changed, technology's changed, weapons have changed. So but people haven't changed. Why do you think? Why do you think that they had the Second Amendment second out of all the amendments? It takes ten minutes. It when it takes ten minutes to load a weapon, you get a little bit of time to think about it. Well, people seem to be pretty upset and hostile out here. They don't want to just explain why they want to do away with the Second Amendment. I think they think that, um, you know, there should be no questions asked when it comes to it. Ma'am, why should we do away with the with guns? Yeah, why should we do away with guns? Who said do away with guns? What are you out here for then? Not to do away with guns, just to limit uh, possession of guns, meaning just certain guns. What type of guns? Um, for starters, the AK-15. I mean the AR-15. The AR-15, why? How is it any different than a hunting rifle? I don't know that it is different, but it, uh, other than that you're able to fire more shots and it's pretty doggone um, lethal. You know it's not. AR-15s are semi-automatic, which so are handguns. Um, there's really not much different. You pull the trigger, one bullet's fired. You pull the trigger and one bullet's fired. How is that any different? That's like, that sounds like you talking a lot about stuff that you want to say for creepy info wars. Creepy info wars? What makes it <laughs> Why should we do away with guns, sir? 
My daughter is a teacher at Seneca High School in uh, Seneca Falls High School in Upper Montgomery County. And I'm really very much afraid that the same thing that's happened in schools around the country could happen in her school or in any school. I mean, I think uh, we should absolutely ban assault weapons. Uh, we had one, the Republicans uh, removed the ban, and it's time to get no assault. Nobody should have an assault weapon. There's no reason out of the military for any citizen to have an assault weapon. And also, the uh, all our rights are limited. Uh, the First Amendment, which is the freedom of speech, is limited. You can't slander and libel people. You don't have unlimited rights, and you shouldn't have unlimited rights when it comes to the safety and health of other people. Thank you. Well, you know, do guns assault people or do people assault people? Both. So how does an inanimate object assault someone? Well, because so what happens is that people have access to the guns of what you might call mass destruction. And uh, it is true that, gun, that people obviously shoot the guns, but if we limit it, to those people and, and make very make it very strict as Australia and other countries have done and shown when you have strict gun laws it, it very much reduces gun deaths. Look at Massachusetts. Actually Australia's violent crime numbers have gone up after they did away with guns. Not it may not crime. be gun violence going up but violent crime has gone up in Australia. She's going to edit everything you say. Oh she's going to edit it? <laughs> no I'm not. No I'm not. Why are you slandering me sir? Because. <laughs> um, excuse me but yes we are. <laughs> yeah, what do you, why do you why are you out here? What? I'm just out here supporting sensible gun laws, that's all. What what laws do you want to see happen? What laws do I want to see happen? I mean I'm probably the wrong person to ask. I'm probably more extreme than a lot of people. I don't I don't see a reason for guns really at all for, for the populace. I don't I don't see a reason for it. You don't see a reason? Why do you think the Founding Fathers put it as the Second Amendment? No, I, absolutely. Okay, yeah, we've got 160 so acres in Colorado. Okay. There were no assault rifles when the Second Amendment was written. There were no assault rifles when... Well, you know that, that, you know that when the Second Amendment was written, they didn't say the right to bear guns. It says the right to bear arms, meaning armory, you know, <laughs> cannons, everything equivalent to what the government could have. You know, I do have a cannon in my garage. I do. I thought I forgot that. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what it means. <laughs> that's what the Second Amendment means. I can stand here just as well as you can, sir. You can't tell me to leave. I don't have to be quiet. I have a right to speak. the right to life. We have a right to life, and that supersedes the right to guns for anybody for any reason. Are you pro-abortion? What's that? It has nothing to do you with it. You just said right to life, so I'm just asking you. Are you I am for life. So are you are, are you protecting the lives in un, in the womb that people are aborting? That's irrelevant. That's, That's absolutely irrelevant. Well, you just said you, you're so pro-life. I'm trying to change it. The fact of the matter is that we shouldn't be exposed to guns, and particularly automatic. Some people the have a disagreement. So, ma'am, so, ma ma given that you probably were around during, you know, many of the, the Second War or, or some of these other things, do you remember when Hit, when the German people were disarmed and then Hitler was able to That's round up right. the Jewish That's people? That's not right. Yes, it is right. That's not right. That's yes, not right. it is right. The general populace was allowed to have weapons. They were even incentivized. They disarmed the Jewish people. Yeah, the Jewish population. And by the time they enacted those gun laws, there were only about 200,000 Jews left. And if you really think that they are going to launch an uprising against a country of 80 million people? With, if they had guns, they could have at least defended themselves instead of being rounded up. Yeah, no, like in the Warsaw Ghetto when they had an uprising. And guess what? It delayed their execution by one month, and they were all killed. Well, you know what? If they, if they weren't prior having to register their firearms to then have them confiscated, then they would have been able to evade that. We should just have guns hiding all over the place unregistered. What do you think the Second Amendment means? It means that we have the right to bear arms. It means that you should be able to protect yourselves against the natives and the Spaniards that are living in other parts of, of America during the 17th, 18th It means century. that we can protect ourselves against tyranny if our government decides to become a tyrannical government. determine what tyranny is? Because you have Ruby Ridge, you have Waco, Texas. You had in 2016 a bunch of farmers that thought they were being put down by the government. And they launched, they launched a little coup of their own where they took over like a federal building in Oregon, so I think. So Trump you're not worried about Trump at all? You're not worried about Trump? No, no, I'm, tell me, what, what happened to the charges? I don't know, I don't know. The one guy was killed for no reason. We 
have interviewed he his wasn't, wife. There was, okay, are you so you're not worried about Trump? You're not worried about, you think he, you know, you, I heard a lot of liberals think they think he's a Hitler, a modern day Hitler, so you're not worried? You paint me with whatever brush stroke you want. I don't like Trump, but people voted for him. We got Excuse elected. me, do not push me off of this ledge. They are no, pushing me. No, you guys me. are pushing on me You too. guys are pushing me off this ledge. Yeah, do not push me. No, you guys don't have a right, you don't have the right to push me. We're standing here. They're trying to push me off of this ledge right here. Well, the point of what I'm trying to say is, I, I don't like Trump. You're right, but people voted for him. I don't, I don't like him, but you know what? We have him. We have to work with what we have. That's where we're at. That doesn't mean that I want like uh, an uprising against a tyrannical government because you guys don't think he's tyrannical. You support him. No, I don't think he is tyrannical, but you know, there's a lot of Democrats out there who do. And, and so I and wonder if you guys actually legitimately thought that somebody was a danger. You know, our government has had experiences of tyrannical. No, I'm not going to go somewhere else. I'm in the public. I have the right to be out here. Uh, again, I. Again, some people may think he, he's a tyrant. The tyranny is. It's up to the individual person to decide what that is. Again, in Germany, you had the whole German populace pretty much agreeing that the, the measures being enacted against the Jews, against uh, the gypsies, against homosexuals, those were fine. They were okay with it. When would have been the right time for the Jews to have said, all right, now we're leading an uprising without people like, uh, like Ben Shapiro who would have been like, actually, no, you can't attack someone just because of their political beliefs, all right? When, when do you get to a point where suddenly it becomes... This ben has been Shapiro supports the Second Amendment. He would say yeah, exactly. they have a right to arm themselves and defend themselves. If anyone comes to their door and tries to take them away, take their possessions and separate their family. Ma'am, all, all I'm asking is... When what do you think about the Japanese people in America that were put in internment camps during World War II? I, you I don't think, think that our government could that. become tyrannical? I think that's horrible, and I'm getting... Again, I'm saying that there have been examples of our government being tyrannical. Again, I'd say... I'd say Waco, Texas was horrible. Ruby Ridge was terrible. That doesn't mean that I want people going around taking, you know, the law into their own hands and performing extrajudicial, like, killings. That's absurd. Because, again, everyone has a different idea of what tyranny is to them. Okay, because, again, yeah, you have a bunch of uh, uh, libtards or whatever you want to call them out here that think that Trump is a tyrannical, you know, god emperor or whatever. You know? And I'm sure you guys are like, that's ridiculous. He's doing a bunch of things to help people, to help the middle class. You guys probably like the, the tax cuts or whatever he's giving people. That It's not tyranny. But they still have a right to have arms and to arm themselves in, in the event a government was tyrannical. And, I, and I'm saying that when the Second Amendment was written, we had to protect ourselves on, on, on our borders from the, from the South, from the West. You had Native Americans who were, who were clashing with colonists and people in the states. And there are people who have to defend themselves against drugged out criminals that want to come in I'm and so harm sorry, them. But if you, think, if you think that groups like MS-13 are actually like killing as many people as, the, as people like Trump would make you believe? Talk to people in Mexico. Mexicans do not have the Second Amendment in Mexico. Mexico. Mexicans do not have the Second Amendment in Mexico, and the cartels run around with guns, shooting people, killing people, doing whatever they want to do, and the government will come take the guns away from the law-abiding citizens and let the cartels run rampant because they get bought off, because they become a corrupt government. And that's fine. If you want to talk about things to do in Mexico, I'm not that informed on Mexico, but I want to talk about the United States where we do have a Second I'm Amendment. I'm informed about Iraq. Well, There's an assault rifle in every house there. I invited Wayne LaPierre to come when I was... And guess what? The reason why we couldn't take over Iraq... The reason why we couldn't take over Iraq... I invited Wayne LaPierre to come to Iraq. I also invited him to come when I was in Afghanistan. Funny thing is... In those, guns around, he should, in those he perfect NRA countries, he never showed up. I wonder why. Well, what's interesting is that... Do you admit that it was harder to try to overcome the native population there because they had assault rifles? No. They didn't make it harder for our troops out there to try to make them submit. I'm sorry, are you... You want to call Sandy Hook a false flag? Alex Jones can eat my asshole. Did you just compare George Bush to Saddam Hussein? No, I didn't. You said... Yeah, it, it was more difficult in Iraq. No, what I said is, for what our military... Against the Bush administration. 
what do you have against the Bush administration? I don't, I don't, I don't like the Bush administration, but I didn't even talk about the Bush administration. They didn't do it the right way. I've got people over here protesting. Can I sign your drum? Trump smokes MIDs. My hands are kind of full right at this moment. to actually have a dialogue. I want, I want to be able to just talk to people. You know? Well, like, here's something Thank for you to consider. Thanks. All right. People seem to be upset about my presence out here, but I'm going to ask the questions that need to be asked out here. Um, I'm going to be uploading more videos as we go out along through this March for Our Lives in Washington, D.C. Uh, this is Millie Weaver signing off for InfoWars.com.